Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a nice trick how to make your videos bigger without resizing and we're going to do this in Flash. There are of course other uh, editors that you can use and those are covered in the other video tutorials which you can find on the member area in miracletutorials.com Ok, so first I'm going to open Flash and there we are Ok, now the first thing we need to do is to change the document settings and therefore we have to go to modify at the top and then we click on document and there you see a dialog box with the dimensions and we have to change that to 480 by 360 because that is the format that most uh, video networks or video channels use and then as uh, for the background we choose a color that fits with our video now in this case I'm going to take dark blue and then for the frame rate that is uh, set to 12 but in this case it should be 30 because my video uh, has a frame rate of 30 uh, frames per second and then you click on OK and now we are ready to import our video so in order to do that we go to file and there we click on import and then we select our uh, video and click on open and then here that's important. Do you want to embed the video or do you want to link to it? In this case it's better to link to the external video because we're going to export it as a uh, movie anyway. Click OK. Now the length of this video requires 721 frames. Click yes because then it's automatically adapted to the length of your video. And now we can position our video into the work area and First we have to set that to 100% so that we have a clear view of how it is going to look. Now for this video I'm going to uh, import also another image to put behind the video because I like to make it a bit fancy. In Flash you can import a wide range of images. Uh, I'm going to take a PSD file which is from Photoshop. Uh, click yes if they ask to try to import it via QuickTime. The reason is that some files are not understood by Flash and therefore they are filtered by QuickTime which is uh, very convenient. Now in order to uh, get that uh, image in the back we have to cut it and then we have to create a new layer and because that is the layer of the movie actually and we have to create another one but first I'm going to rename this layer, we call it movie and then I click on new layer and I have to scroll down a bit and there it is then we call that background and then I'm going to drag that below the movie and then I paste my, my image on that layer so that it is behind the movie itself. Then I position it and then I make a symbol of it so that I can uh, change the opacity. And therefore you have to open the properties and then we first convert this to a symbol eh? and that's a graphic, that's important that you have that selected and then we can change the opacity which we do by selecting alpha and there we select something like 50 or no, let's say 28 ok now I'm clicking again on the little arrow to collapse the property box so that we have a nice view over the whole area and the only thing we need to do now is to reposition the movie that it's uh, is placed nicely in our layout. That looks quite nice. And now I want to add some text so I'm going to the left and I click on the A in the left hand pane and then I place my cursor where I want the text to start and I simply type my text and I deselect uh, the text so that I can see how it looks and I reposition it 
and then I might also want to change the font of the text. I have to scroll down a bit. There we are. And then I select another font. You can change all sorts of properties eh, of uh, fonts like in any uh, text editor actually. So I change the size and I made it a regular font instead of bold. And then I reposition it a bit. And then it is about time to have a full overview of my work area. So I collapse the property box and reposition the working area. And that seems to look fine. To have a preview of the video we have to go to frame 1 and then we click on uh, enter. And then the video starts to play. And that looks very nice so we can now export this uh, video to QuickTime. We are ready to export our movie now so we go to file. And there we click on export movie. And then we type in a name and eh? type test dot move and move is the MOV from QuickTime and then we click save and there we see that our dimensions are all right and uh, we click on the streaming sound to see everything is okay that's uh, the highest setting because we don't want compression this is our master video and then we turn off the controller we don't need that and we click on OK And there we are. We just created our master video that we can use in our video channels. Now for this example I used Flash MX but you can also use the later ones. So you can use uh, even the Flash CS3, it doesn't matter. Uh, the principle is the same. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this and thank you very much.